I chose sociology because I had always been interested in politics and systems of oppression and things like that. Um, and when I came to college, I, I had a lot of anger about um, inequality, social inequality, economic inequality, and sociology kind of gave me those reasons. So why there is social inequality and why there is economic inequality, and it gave me the tools to work to change that. There's different areas of sociology. There's no specific concentrations, but in sociology, um, a lot of people do choose minors. So um, some people are interested in environmental um, aspects of oppression. So they'll choose a minor in environmental science or environmental studies and then take sociology classes that correlate with that. So for example, um, environmental sociology or rural sociology. I was expecting it to be um, a lot of theory and a lot of reading um, and not a lot of science. Um, and it is a lot of theory and it is a lot of reading, um, but I do realize, I think I learned along the way, that sociology is a science. So there is a method to it um, and there are ways to apply science to it. Um, so I'm able to use that when I talk with other scientists, even if they're outside of my field. Um, so I can talk to biologists and I can talk to psychologists and psychiatrists and things like that and talk about sociology as a science. Um, currently, I do graduate in May, um, so I'm really looking forward to that. Um, I do hope to, in the long run, go into academia. Um, I hope to get my PhD in rural sociology and sustainable agriculture. Um, so, essentially, I'd like to do research on um, community development at the local level in rural communities um, and how we can engage um, sustainable agricultural systems to develop communities further. Our introduction to sociology. Um, that was my favorite class I've ever taken actually. Um, I came in as an open option student. Um, within a week or so I declared sociology. I fell in love with the class. Um, that class is really just a general overview of oppression, of systems in our society. I mean we talk about religion, we talk about politics, we talk about economics. It's really just a grab bag of anything you can think of. Right now in particular I'm in um, Sociology 380 which is the sociology of work. So this is talking about um, the work environment and how the work environment impacts um, society as a whole and institutions of work and how that impacts oppression. Um, so in particular we talk about the effects of unions on oppression and the work environment and things like that and it's really interesting. I've been a research assistant to several professors. Um, it started out as a volunteer position. Um, my first research assistantship was with Alicia Cast, um, and that was just basic um, entering data into a computer system. Um, and her study was on the effects of marriage. So I got um, another volunteer position with Jan and Cornelia Flora. Um, and that started out doing um, kind of an analysis of data available for certain topics. And then uh, that was really interesting. And then they hired me the following semester. And currently, um, I'm working on, I've edited their textbook. I've um, worked on grants and things like that. Um, right now, we're working with um, FFI, which is the Food and Farm Initiative. Um, and we look at how we can incorporate um, different programs to increase access to um, locally grown, um, sustainably grown food and in institutions. <music> professor Anastasia Prokos is someone I really look up to. Um, she's an associate professor, professor in sociology and women and gender studies. Um, I've never even actually had her as a professor in class. Um, she's one that I've just grown really close to over the past couple of years. Um, she's someone that I can go and talk to about social change and about um, social action. Um, she's someone who her office is literally always open as long as she's in there. I can go in there and talk. She's got a big comfy couch in her office. Um, on top of that, she's really mentored me on my options when I graduate. My advisor is Mark Hagley. Um, he does play an integral role in helping me pick up my classes. I don't know where I'd be without him. Um, I go in there at least a couple times a semester. My first year it was every other week about, you know, stressing out about classes, things like that. Um, but he's really always in there, um, always ready to help, always ready to help schedule things, and he's definitely helped me um, graduate on time. If you're curious about sociology, I would really recommend, um, even if it's not declared, as your major yet, um, get involved in research because you'll get to see um, on the ground work and what sociology is really about and what sociologists are doing. And it's really fascinating work. Um, so as soon as you get involved with that, and professors are happy, happy to get you involved, um, you'll get to see what it is that sociologists do. I would definitely be taking you know, social studies classes, history classes, because it brings in, a lot of sociology brings in the history of the United States, history of the world, and how that kind of relates now to a larger level.